Madam Speaker, on the matter of expulsion, we are now going down a third attempt for a privilege resolution to expel me from the House of Representatives this week. Uh, just introduced one earlier th today and just earlier this evening, we had a second. Here's the case in point. In history, five members of Congress have been expelled. All five had suffered convictions in a court. All five had due process. This expulsion vote simply undermines and underscores the precedent that we've had in this chamber. It starts and puts us in a new direction, a dangerous one that sets a very dangerous precedent for the future. Are we to now assume that one is no longer innocent until proven guilty, and they are in fact guilty until proven innocent? Or are we now to simply assume that because somebody doesn't like you, they get to throw you out of your job? Or better more, does the Constitution bear no consequence? Where a duly elected member of the House of Representatives is elected by the general public, but then a couple of politicians decide that they don't like that person. These are all matters and questions that can be brought up. But I'll leave it at this. The process in which the Ethics Committee engaged was incomplete, irresponsible, and littered with hyperbole, and littered with biased opinions. The chairman of the committee himself admitted that it wasn't, the, it wasn't the full extensive process, and therefore he couldn't recommend from the committee a punishment or action. Therefore, cheapening the process of the Ethics Committee, cheapening the process that this that this country has expected from this, from this chamber. Look, it is not a right to be a member of Congress. The media will always remind me of that every time I talk to them. But it is a privilege, a privilege that you work hard for and you get elected to Congress as a privilege to represent those who have chosen you. Madam Speaker, I think we can all agree that due process matters and that we should all be very concerned about the way that we are conducting this process. I ask that all my colleagues in the House consider and understand what this means for the future and to set the record straight and put this in the record, I will not be resigning. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time.